Yo, what's going on everybody? It's the Ram9951 here to bring you a tutorial on how to play your PSP games on your Samsung Galaxy devices. So here today we'll be using the PPSSPP uh, application emulator, which is this one. And you're going to need a file extractor application, which in this case we'll be using the RAR app. So what you're going to do is go to your Play Store, type in PPSSPP. And then this blue one is the one you'll be using. Uh, so download that. Next, you're going to look up that RAR file extractor. So just go ahead and type that in. Boom. Download that one. Uh, this one up here. Once you got those two applications, we're going to hit the internet. And you're going to want to use a website that allows you to download those uh, games. In this case, uh, I have Cool ROM opened up. Uh, go to ROM files, scroll all the way down, you'll find the PlayStation Portable games. You could uh, browse by a specific uh, game. So if you're looking like for Grand Theft Auto, you know, go to G. If you're looking by genre, you know, don't know what game you want to download, pick that way. So once you've got your apps and your game, next we're going to go to that RAR file extractor. Make sure you are in SD card. That is your internal storage. Um, so next you're going to want to go to the download folder. That's where your uh, game is going to be at. Click the file and you're only going to want to uh, extract the .iso, um, .iso file. So you're going to want to click this little book with the up arrow to extract the files. Next you're going to go to browse because you can actually pick where you want the file to go to. So in this case the uh, PSP emulator uh, makes a pre-made uh, folder which is right here it says PSP so just go ahead and click that go ahead and click game so you could just drop it in there press OK press OK one more time and uh, so this part can take a little bit of time depending on what uh, device you're on and how big the file is this could take anywhere from one to five minutes I've seen as long as ten minutes depending on how big the file is and again uh, what kind of device you're on so give that just a little bit of time once that is finished we are going to want to go back or technically you're ready to go so um, I could just show you we'll go to the application real quick go on go to the top left uh, put game and put home uh, you may get like some some permissions you have to accept just go ahead and do that once you're here at home go to your PSP folder right here go to game and your game should show up now depending on uh, what uh, what kind of device you're using depends on how smooth the game will run for the most part, it runs really good on my device, um, and for most others, it will run pretty good um, from what I hear. So you just kind of have to test the game out and um, see how it works on your device. So now I'm going to show you how to actually move your file and use it if you want to have it on a, on a SD card in this case. So what you're going to do is go back to your internal storage, go to the folder that you moved your uh, game to, go ahead and move that again. So I'm going to go to edit, going to move that. And in this case, uh, I what I recommend actually you do is um, move the whole folder. So you would just go that. You can actually make a copy if you want. Go ahead and copy. You would go to SD card and just drop it in there. I already have my folder made. So say you just want to do the game, I'll show you that real quick. So you'll go PSP game edit if you want to like make your own folder uh, and then you go move go to SD card drop it in the folder if you want to just move that whole folder over it is in my PSP ISOs go ahead and drop it in wherever press done this could take like another minute to five minutes depending on how big the file is and how quick your device runs so once we've done that let's exit these we will go to the emulator again and now you're going to want to make sure you start off at the home. So go to games on the top left, tap that, go to home, top right, right there. Now you will have to press that up arrow twice right here. So you're going to want to go one, two. Now here it should pop up a folder that has numbers. In my case, it is eight zeros with a dash in between. Click that, and then you should find your folder that you um, made for your emulator. Um, excuse me, for your uh, your game. So here is the PSP ISOs, and I have all my games in here. So you can see there, I'll show you a quick demonstration of a Tekken Dark Resurrection. 
Again, I'm using the Note 8, so for the most part, it runs pretty decently um, smooth on here. Uh, depending on what kind of, you know, game it is, what kind of stages you play on. Also depends on how frame rate is affected and how, you know, lag is going to bet can be or how smooth it can run. So I'm going to show you a quick match on here. You can see how it's running pretty smoothly. So it looks pretty cool. And I would say I really like the controller, uh, the controls on here, and they're pretty responsive. In my case, they're very responsive. Um, and I like, for me, I like the feature where you feel that that vibration feedback when tapping the button, so you get some sort of feedback when you're doing that. Damn, I'm but yeah, so you can see it runs pretty smoothly. Um, not bad. Anyway. I do prefer using the controller so you get like a, a more full screen, but uh, for the most part, and the bigger devices are going to like that. It, it's so much just like using that for PSP. I can't really like do combos. Um, for the most part, you call the step like uh, button combination, so if you like, so in this case, in this game, you know, you have to do grapples by pressing square and triangle. So you can actually set up uh, uh, button combinations. Uh, it also allows for touch, um, dual, dual button touch, but it could be kind of. Final round. pretty good actually. Just have to get like, used to it. Can't spam that. Yeah, so for the most part, I mean, it's you're going to like how it runs, I believe. Uh, I have the gold version, so the only difference is it's no ads, and then uh, they, they add some extra features, well, I don't even know what they are. But that's about it, guys. If this video helped you, please leave a like in the video, share if it does help. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave some comments in that comment section. I'll be sure to help you guys out as soon as possible. Till then, this is Ram951 signing out. Peace.